More about the murder arrest of the Florida teenager who gained fame for her persistent case of hiccups. We've got NBC's Mark Potter in St. Petersburg with the latest on this story. Hey, Mark, good morning. And good morning to you, Ann. This case can be seen as a tragedy on several levels, certainly for the family of the victim, also for Jennifer Mee's family. She now sits in jail, facing a very serious charge. I'm worried about my daughter right now, and I'd like some privacy. Leaving the courthouse in Clearwater, Florida, Jennifer Mee's mother seems stunned by the murder charge facing her daughter. Mee appeared by video before a judge Monday afternoon. This me the allegation is murder in the first degree. I do find probable cause your bond is currently zero. 19-year-old me, 20-year-old LaRon Rayford, and 22-year-old Lamont Newton are accused of first-degree felony murder for the death of 22-year-old Shannon Griffin. Miss Me and the uh, Mr. Rayford, Mr. Newton, all made several admissions to the fact that they, this was a setup. It was a robbery, and it was a robbery gone awry. Police say Me lured Griffin to a house to be robbed, but when a scuffle broke out, Griffin was shot and killed. This handgun recovered from the scene. Police say they do not believe Me was involved in the shooting. She and the victim are thought to have met online. Uh, they exchanged several uh, back and forth on a, a social networking site on the internet. Um, led up to a series of phone calls. Um, where she enticed him to come down and meet with her at this particular address. Me drew national attention three years ago when she developed an uncontrollable case of the hiccups. She appeared multiple times on Today. It's not funny, is not it? No more, it's not. No. Not at all. On a radio program Monday, her mother said her daughter's fame caused her problems with people she met. I've said for a while now that her case of the hiccups wasn't a case of the hiccups, it was a curse of the hiccups. And you know Jennifer as well as I do. She's a lovable, sweet little girl that would not hurt a fly. And where things went wrong, I don't know. Mee's former landlord says she had questionable friends. She just got influenced by the wrong people and she would go in for the excitement or whatever. But he too said she was a sweet girl and is surprised by her arrest on a murder charge. And police say even though they don't believe me pulled the trigger, her alleged involvement in the original felony, the armed robbery in which a man was killed, is why she too, under Florida law, faces a murder charge. Me has now hired an attorney, but he has not yet spoken publicly about this case. And all right, Mark Potter, Mark, thanks. The murder investigation is.